What's up everybody, Roderick here with the Comica WM100 Plus UHF wireless microphone kit. Now when it comes to making videos, your audio quality is just as important as your video quality, so that's where this will come into play. This will give you a nice wireless setup with a lavalier microphone that's easy to conceal in your videos while also providing you with some great sound quality. No matter what you're using to record your videos, this microphone will work great for you because it works with XLR camcorders, DSLR cameras, as well as smartphones, so they got you covered in every instance. This kit comes with two transmitters that work simultaneously with one receiver so you can get two sources of audio in case you want to do something like an interview. These actually support 48 channels between 568 and 591 megahertz. Both the transmitter and the receiver support 48 channels between 568 and 592 megahertz, so you can always get a clear channel to get the best audio quality. When it comes to powering everything, you can either use AA batteries or an external battery pack, so you'll never have to worry about battery power. As far as working range, they work up to 100 meters, which is about 328 feet in an unobstructed view, and 60 meters, which is about 197 feet if there's there's any sort of obstruction between the transmitter and the receiver. And of course you're able to adjust the volume in real time by plugging in some headphones and using the real time monitor. Alright so now we gotta get inside and see what we got. Oh, this is already super nice. Everything is packed up nicely inside this really nice carrying kit. I'm really impressed with the quality of this so far. Alright, we got a lot of accessories here. We have a couple dead cats to fight off wind noise, an XLR to 3.5mm cable, a micro USB cable, a 3.5mm cable, two lavalier microphones, and three metal clips for the transmitters and receiver. And now on to the big compartment. Oh yes, we have a user guide. And just look at this, we have both transmitters and the receiver neatly packed inside of some foam here to keep it all intact. This is definitely a good kit if you need to travel around a lot and don't want to break your equipment. We have a cold shoe mount for your camera. First, let's take a look at the receiver. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Taking a look at the receiver on the front, we have the nice LCD display. We have the function select buttons as well as the function setting button. A power button on the top. Up top, we have two antennas as well as the output for the camera, output for the headphones if you want to do a real-time monitor, an IR sensor, and some status light indicators. And then on the back we have the quarter inch thread above the battery compartment requiring two AA batteries And over on the side of the micro USB port for external power and then taking a look at the actual transmitter It looks about the same as the receiver where the function setting buttons the LCD display the power button which doubles as a mute button the working status indicator lights up top we have the antenna the line in external input the infrared sensor as well as the microphone input and of course on the back we have the quarter inch thread above the battery compartment two AA batteries once again and on the side the micro USB port for external power with both the transmitter as well as the receiver we also have these metal clips if you want to clip them onto your person they're very simple to install to stick it in the hole on the side wrap it around to the other side into the other hole and you're good to go You'll be able to clip this onto your belt or your pants or whatever you need to. Now as far as the build quality goes for everything, everything is made out of plastic although it does feel very high quality. It definitely looks like it has a rugged design and will definitely get the job done for any of your needs. I just loaded these up with some batteries so now we can get them set up and try them out. I got one of the lavalier microphones right here. We're going to put it inside the transmitter. Just like that, looking real good. Look at that nice gold finish, I love it. And then we got this 3.5mm cable that we're going to load into the receiver. And then this other end will go into your camera. I also got a pair of headphones that we can plug in so we can monitor the audio. Just like that. Pretty simple. And now as you can see, we got everything set up. A very simple process, plug and play. Now let's get everything powered on and get it set up and paired together. Just hold down the power buttons for a couple seconds. We get the nice Comica splash screen. And just like that, we're connected. Looking good. Testing, oh wow. Okay, so it turns out we're already paired up and it sounds really good. I'm actually really impressed already. It was paired up right out of the box, ready to go. But let's go through some of the settings, shall we? It's really weird hearing myself talk. <laughs> All right, so first we'll start off with the transmitter. We have group A and group B, we can hold it down. We can choose the channel we wanna be on, all the way from zero all the way up to 47. Remember, we got 48 channels to work with. We'll just stay at zero for now. You can also choose group B, we're gonna stay at zero for that as well. Up top, we can see the signal strength between the transmitter and the receiver. As you can see, we got full bars on this receiver right here. We also have a battery status indicator, and my batteries are about two-thirds charged, so it looks like we should be good to go. We can make our way on down. We have output mode. It's set to mono, but we can also hold that down and change it to stereo. We have the setting mode. We're on group A right now, but our transmitter's on group B, so we're going to change it to B and get it set. Group B setting is powered on. We can change the volume of group B. We have it up at 12 right now. It goes all the way up to 15 and all the way down to zero. We'll just leave it at 12 because it sounded good in my ears. And then we also have a sync, so we'll sync it. Yes. And it's matched, just like that. We have the backlight settings to turn off after 15 seconds. And we can also reset the receiver as well. And then we're on version 1.1.2 of the software for the receiver. Now taking a look at the transmitter, we're set to group B and we're on channel zero. We can choose between zero and 47. And as we change the channel, the frequency changes as well. As you can see, channel 47 is on 591.875 megahertz. Channel 1 
is on 580.125 megahertz. Then we can choose what group we wanna be in, whether it's A or B. We have a low cut filter, we could toggle between off, low, and high. We have radio frequency power, we can set between high and low, depending if you want a better signal or better battery life. We have muting enable, so you can just press this button to mute it. As you can see, when you mute it, the light turns red, and it also puts a strike through the microphone. We have backlight settings, reset, and version 1.1.2 as well. Now let's say we're getting some interference on the first channel because there's a bunch of people around using microphones as well. We'll just go in here, we'll hold this down. Let's change this to channel seven. So channel seven is 581.875 megahertz. And then we'll get our receiver. And as you can see, we have zero bars on both A and B because nothing's connected to the receiver. So we're gonna have to hold this down. Go to group B and change it to channel seven. And just like that, we're connected with full bars and I can hear myself talk now. And everything is loud, crisp, and clear. Perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna connect the receiver to my camera, wire myself up with the microphone, and we're gonna put this thing to the test. All right, you guys, right now you're hearing the raw, unedited audio from the Comica wireless microphone kit. I did have to adjust the settings a bit so it wouldn't peak too much. One of the cool things about this kit is on both the microphone transmitter and the receiver, you can see the levels of what the microphone's picking up so you can adjust at will. Now, overall, I'm really liking this kit. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is plug and play. You can adjust the channels very easily and it instantly connects, no problems there. Now if I start screaming and talking really loud, I'm pretty sure the audio will start peaking because I'm talking really loud and the microphone's really close to me. But if you're just talking regularly and have the levels all set up and matched up to the way you need it, then everything will be just fine. I mean, that's how microphones work after all. Remember, right now we're in a controlled studio environment, so what we're gonna do is head outside, test the range, test the quality, and see how well it works in the real world. All right, you guys, first off, we're gonna start with a 10-foot test. Right now we're 10 feet away, so not too impressive. I mean, if it works, it works. It should definitely work at 10 feet. I mean, I'm right here, so let's keep on going, shall we? And I got some wind blowing on me right now, so hopefully it's cutting that out really well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm 20 feet away from the camera. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. We got a little bit of wind blowing on me and we are still pretty close. So let's keep on going a little bit more. Now I'm 30 feet away from the camera. We're still relatively close. So not too much to write home about. Let's keep on going because we got to get a little bit further. 40 feet away. I think we're still pretty close. So we got to go a little bit further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. We're 50 feet away. This is a pretty good distance. I'm not sure why you would need to go much further than this. So we're working right here. Fine, but we're going to keep going. We're going to get this thing to its limit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixty. Right now we're 60. At this point, I would have to be screaming at the top of my lungs you guys to hear me with the built-in microphone on the camera. And right now we have a gust of wind blowing on me, it's coming through, so hopefully this dead cat's doing a good job of cutting it out, because if all you can hear is the wind noise, it doesn't matter how far away from the camera you can get if that's all you can hear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep on going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Feet away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ninety feet. Ten more feet to see how well it works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hundred feet. We're running out of space here, but a hundred feet's a really good distance. Not sure why we need to go this far because zooming in and everything will be a hassle. But if you have to, I guess you could. But let's keep going. Let's see how far we can actually get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're 120 feet away. I finally got some shade. We still got some wind. It feels really nice right here. Should I just stay here? I mean, 120 feet is a really good distance. And wow, I'm feeling real comfortable out of the sun right now. But let's move a little further. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're 130 feet away. I'm behind a tree, I think. I'm not sure. I mean, we're really far, and I didn't zoom in at all before I set it up. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm probably a little speck, but if you can hear me, that'll be great. Okay. 
three and a half. Camera, if you have 200 feet in it, 300 feet. Have to be the have to go 300 feet away from the camera. That actually were insane. They came out way down the yellow brick road, although it's more of a <laughs> cement gray color, so not sure how that'll work. Right now, like against the wind, the wind's blowing on me. I'm walking and talking. Hopefully, it sounds good. Hopefully, everything else. So you can hear me loud and clear. Seriously, it's really, it's insane. 200 feet was really already. So if it actually worked 200 feet away, I'm gonna be really, really impressed. That's so far because you said because you guys how far that was. You couldn't see me. Camera. Now, if you zoomed in, you might be able to get a little bit closer, but definitely wouldn't be able to see me close enough to probably read my lips at all while I'm talking. So, I want you guys to let me know what you guys thought. Right now, I'm back here. We're coming up on the 10 foot mark. So, let me know if it sounded good to you. Let me know if it was loud and clear. Let me know if it cut out at any points. Let me know what you guys think, and let's move on to the verdict. All right, you guys, we are back in the studio, and I'm already wired up, so I was like, why not finish off the video with the Komiko microphone on me still? So here we go. You're still hearing it right here, loud and clear, hopefully. Now, during the testing outside, I did notice that 30 feet seems to be about the sweet spot when it comes to a good connection with good audio quality. Upon further investigation of the testing video, it looks like my body became an obstruction between the transmitter and the receiver because the transmitter was in my back pocket, because after about 30 feet, the connection kept dropping and the audio kept cutting out. However, as I turned around, and kept walking as I was doing my counting. One, two, three, blah, 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 blah. You know the drill. The audio came back in and was mostly clear up until about 100 feet. Once we got to 100 feet, things kind of got a little bit weird. Sometimes it was in, sometimes it was cutting out. It was a little bit hit or miss. Although, like I said, not sure if you guys heard it because it was cutting out, but once you get that far, I'm not sure why we need to actually be that far. These will definitely be great for relatively close quarter action, and especially if you're in a studio setting such as this right now, where you're not too far away from the camera. Outside, it was a bit windy, and I'm really impressed that the dead cat cut out a lot of that wind noise so you were able to hear my my voice over all the wind. Because my body appeared to be the obstruction, if you mounted the transmitter onto your front pocket, it would have a nice clear view of the receiver. That way it wouldn't be cutting out, especially since you don't want to be having your back turned while you're talking to a camera. Overall though, I'm really liking them because I'm not planning to be that far away from the camera, especially since you have to zoom in and make sure it's super steady at that far distance. But if we're doing something close quarters like this, it'll definitely get the job done. If you want to pick up one of these, I'll throw the link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys thought of the audio quality. Let me know what you thought of the distance test. Let me know if you're going to pick up a pair of these. Thumbs up. Red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.